to solve chapter 15 E1. Suppose that water wave coming into dock has a velocity of 1.2 meter and velocity as a V and a wave length of 2.4 meter lambda. And what is the frequency of the that uh, wave? And this frequency is F. So velocity you can define F times lambda, right? So, in order to get your frequency, then velocity divided by lambda. Velocity is given as 1.2 meter per sec divided by, and your lambda as wavelength is 2.4 meter. Then you will get frequency as 0 0.5 1 over second, or hertz, hertz, hertz. Okay, then that is your frequency of the wave. Okay. Thank you and talk to you right now. Solve chapter 15 E2. Suppose the water wave have a wavelength of 2.4 meter lambda and the, the period of uh, 1.6 second. Period is a T and what is velocity of this wave? First, you need to figure it out. Uh, v equal F lambda and but your f is 1 over frequency frequency is in inverse of your period becoming your frequency so your frequency should be 1 over 1.6 second which is 1 divided by 1.6 becoming 0 0.625 hertz then f is given as 0 0.625 hertz times lambda as 2.4 meter then times 2.4 then you will get 1.5 meter per second as your velocity of that water wave okay thank you and bye now so chapter 15 e3 a longitudinal wave on the Slinky has a frequency of 5 Hertz. Frequency is F and then uh, a speed of 2.0 meter per second. Speed as velocity at V and what is wave length of this wave? Okay, so V equal F times lambda and then lambda can calculate v over f okay v is given as 2.0 meter per second over as f as 5 hertz or 5 1 over second then you can calculate as 0 0.4 meter as your wavelength for this wave okay thank you and by now. Let's solve chapter 15 E4. A wave of loop is shown in diagram. Okay. One pull wave and two pull wave becoming the six meter. One pull wave we call as a lambda and another pull wave as a lambda. Becoming two lambda equal as six meter. Then lambda becoming you divide by two each side and three meter as your lambda. So you need to figure it out the wavelength as lambda equal three meter from the previous. And if a frequency of wave is two hertz, what is wave speed? Okay, wave speed. Velocity is f times lambda. The frequency f equal two hertz. So two hertz times your lambda as three meter. Then you will get six meter per second as your wave speed. Okay. I will talk to you later. Bye now. Chapter fifteen e five. A wave. On a string has a speed of 12 meter per second and a period of 0 0.4 second. Period is a t and then speed, which is a v, over 12 meter. What is the frequency of wave?
the frequency you can find 1 over t so 1 over 0 0.4 second becoming 2.5 hertz as your uh, frequency for this wave and then what is wavelength of this wave the v equal f times the lambda then your lambda becoming uh, v over f v is 12 meter per second and your f is 2.5 hertz and then you will get 12 divided by 2.5 becoming 4.8 meter your lambda becoming 4.8 meter to get your wave okay wave length okay thank you and bye now in e6 suppose a guitar string has a length of 0 0.8 meter and the mass of 0 0.12 kilogram and a tension of 135 newton what is the mass per unit of length of this string okay uh, we call as mu as uh, the density okay string linear density so is the mass over the rings okay your mass is m your rings is l and then your tension is tension tension then uh, your m is 0 0.12 kilogram and then your length is 0 0.8 meter so you will calculate 0 0.12 divided by 0 0.8 equal 0 0.15 kilogram per meter as density okay and in the second one is what is the speed of wave on the string is you need to know the equation your velocity you can define as v or as root f over mu okay f this is your f as tension okay your tension is 135 135 newton over your mu is 0 0.15 kilogram per meter then you will get your velocity so uh you can calculate this as uh, 135 divided by 0 0.15 and then you can get square root of this right square root of 900 become your uh, 30 30 meter per sec as your velocity of the wave on the on this string okay thank you and bye now Let's solve uh, chapter 15 E7. A string with length L equal at 0 0.8 meter is fixed both ends. And what is the longest possible wave length for the traveling waves that can interfere to form a standing wave on this string? So, in order to solve this, and then these two fixed end, and then the string, the longest is half lambda, lambda over 2 equal as your length, which is your length as L. Because this is a half lambda and another half lambda, then becoming your uh, full wavelength. So half lambda equal uh, L, L equal 0 0.8 meter. So your lambda supposed to be 1.6 meter. Okay, then if uh, waves travel with a speed of 120 meter per second on this string, what is the frequency associated with this longest wave? Okay, your velocity of wave is f times lambda. Then your lambda and then your v is given and then f equal v over lambda which is 120 meter per second divided by 1.6 meter then 
you will get um, 50 and then 75 meter per 75 Hertz could be your uh, frequency for this wave. Okay, we'll talk to it right now. Let's solve chapter 15 E8. Suppose the that string that the string in X size 7 is flocked so that there are two nas along the string in addition to the either end those at either end. What is the wavelength of interfering wave for this mode? Okay. So in this case, this wavelength, in order to get two nodes, right? This wave. Okay. This is one nod and the two nodes. The length is the same. 0 0.8 meter and then this full length is one wave length and a half right 3 over 2 lambda becoming your length which is 0 0.8 meter then your lambda becoming 0 0.8 meter times 2 divided by 3 then 0 0.533 meter becoming your wavelengths for this wave okay this is your uh, lambda for two nodes in this this is the first node and this is the second node for that okay thank you and i will talk to you later bye now